Shoot him! Shoot them all! That Jedi has summoned a monster! When we last left off, Darth Jar Jar had exposed himself in the Great Senate Building. The Emperor 2B, Anakin Skywalker, and a great duel between the two Sith Lords was about to take place. Meanwhile, Yoda and Bail Organa had been busy. They were gathering those still loyal to democracy and the Jedi, various senators and other leaders, and they headed to Alderaan, the rendezvous, to create a plan of attack to bring down the Empire, the Imperial clone troopers, and the Dark Lord of the Sith, whoever that may be at this point. Back on Coruscant to the Senate chamber, Anakin in the center chair, ignited his lightsaber, Don't hoping to provoke Darth Jar Jar into an attack. In return, Darth Jar Jar ignited his lightsaber and said, Misa, kill Sayu. And with that, he pulled off the infamous barrel roll spinning lightsaber move, similar to the one Palpatine did, but he did it at such a fast rate that he actually entered light speed and went flying through the Senate chamber and flying out through no, the atmosphere no. into space. It appeared that Darth Jar Jar had overshot his mark. I've been banished. Count me out of this one. Better dead here than dead in the court. With the threat of Darth Jar Jar gone, Anakin could breathe easy now. He put away his lightsaber and noticed that some of the Senate seats were indeed filled. This gave him back some of his confidence on his inauguration as Emperor, and he gave his speech. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. After his semi-successful inauguration as Emperor, he met with Tarkin, questioned his loyalty. Tarkin understood he had no choice but to follow the Lord Vader now, and Anakin could sense this in his mind. After confirming his loyalty, Anakin inquired about the Project Stardust, and demanded that Tarkin to complete the Death Star much sooner than Palpatine originally anticipated. We shall double our efforts. After finishing talking with Tarkin, Anakin went to the Hollow Projector to talk with the remaining clone commanders and to inquire about the result of Order 66. Cody led the response with, The order has been very good, sir. And what of Grandmaster Yoda? Anakin replied. Have you disposed of that Jedi filth yet? Commander Wolf spoke up. Uh, uh not yet, sir, but we... His calm cut off as Anakin started force choking him through the hollow projector. After Wolf fainted, Anakin said to the other clones, You must find Yoda or we will have a civil war that could threaten the security of my empire. Yes, sir, all of the remaining clone commanders replied. Anakin then went to his new private chambers in the Senate building to meditate a while. And he thought to himself, Where are you, my little green friend? It was a beautiful day on planet Naboo. Clear skies, warm weather. Anakin was playing with his children, Luke and Leia, in the long grass. The kids were almost five years old now, so they had some sense of the world around them, but still had truly wonderful minds of children. Luke had wandered away a bit and snuck up on a shock. The beast noticed him and turned around and started running towards Luke. Then, all of the sudden, the creature lifted up in the air, and Luke looked behind him to see his father effortlessly lifting the shock in the force and moving him out of harm's way. My son, you have to be more careful, Anakin said in a chastising manner. I know, Dad, Luke replied. I won't be here forever to protect the both of you, he said now to both of his children. You both are getting to the age where you need to start learning how to protect yourselves. It is time for me to show you the ways of the Force and all aspects of it. The children boasted looks of both wonder and excitement. Padme then suddenly appeared in the distance, calling for her husband Annie. There was clearly some troubling her that she needed to talk to him about. Anakin told the children to run back and to work on their chores. Cody has news he deems urgent, she told him. Anakin heard the words come through her mouth and felt a lack of emotion in them. Although it was his dear wife, Anakin had no choice but to use the force persuasion on her frequently for her to accept the Empire and the end of democracy. It was hard for him to have to do this, but he knew it was the only way to keep their family together and Padme at his side. Anakin went to his office in his home on Naboo and pulled up his master hollow projector, revealing a middle-aged Commander Cody. Lord Vader, we have found rebel activity on the planet Dantooine. In the years prior, 
the Empire had fought numerous skirmishes and battles against Bail Organa's rebel alliance on Alderaan and surrounding systems. It led to a tumultuous and catastrophic battle for the rebels just two years ago, with many, many casualties. Alderaan had been captured and put under imperial authority. However, Yoda had escaped, and Anakin had been sending various teams to look for him since. The only thing he had put more resources into was the Death Star, which had made significant progress thanks to the additional resources and efforts of those on the Project Stardust. Is there any sign of Yoda? We believe so. What are your orders, sir? Ready my ship. I will deal with this Jedi slime myself once and for all. Meanwhile, on Dantooine, Ryota was talking with General Rex and his new Padawan, Ahsoka Tano. After she realized the threat of the Empire, Ahsoka decided to join the fight and rejoin the Jedi Order. Soon be here, the Empire, Yoda said to both of them. Battle here, we will. Stop, Skywalker. I must. I can help you. I know him, Ahsoka said. No, mission for you and Rex I have. Old friend of mine, meet you will. And Yoda gave the details of his plan for the upcoming Battle of Fates. Anakin's modded Star Destroyer emerged from hyperspace. Ready us for battle, Admiral. All battle stations online, Admiral Yularen told the rest of the bridge. Ship's lights turned on, and the turrets got ready for battle. Two rebel cruisers, albeit smaller than Anakin's ship, emerged from the surface. They still posed some threat with a numerical advantage, but Anakin was confident. Fire on my command, Anakin said. Hold. Hold. Fire! An eruption of green turbo lasers filled the vacuum of space. Release all TIE fighters, Anakin said. Admiral Yularen relayed this message to the TIE commander. The battle was going well, as the first rebel cruiser was already in flames, and Anakin's Star Destroyer Alpha had hardly sustained any damage, just minor, if anything. I'm going to the surface, Anakin said. Yularen, you have command of my ship. Destroy this rebel scum. Anakin landed on the surface, near the rebel base. It looked mostly deserted, except for one familiar figure. Yoda stood waiting for him on the ground. At last, the Jedi will be no more. Your long life ends here, my old friend. <laughs> Anakin drew his lightsaber, annoyed by Yoda's laughter, revealing his new crimson blade, and Yoda drew his. Anakin charged Yoda. He told himself he would not lose this fight. He had meditated on this duel between Yoda for the past five years, perfecting his powers and knowledge of the dark side. They exchanged blows, and although Yoda was putting up a good fight, he was starting to get overwhelmed by Anakin. As powerful as the Grandmaster was, he stood little to no chance against the Chosen One in full potential fighting form. Anakin pulled off a crafty maneuver to disarm Yoda and split his saber in half. He then used the force to overwhelm and break Yoda's force force bubble and lifted him in the air choking him now you will die <laughs> foolish you are the old skywalker anakin lost his temper and sent a fatal blow of force lightning towards yoda but before it could hit him it appeared yoda had vanished in thin air leaving just his robes behind anakin was flabbergasted but he knew it was over and yoda was gone as anakin was walking back to his ship torius his portable projector started beeping he picked up sir I, I don't know how but the death star it's been destroyed. Anakin's eyes turned yellow. He snapped the commander's neck through the force and lifted up all objects around him and sent out force rage, dealing destruction to the darkness of Dantooine. Anakin was furious. While Yoda and some of the other brave rebels distracted Vader and his fleet, Ahsoka had met with Hondo and Naka and the rest of his crew, and they snuck into the project space of the Death Star and left a devastating blow to it that blew it up. Although Ahsoka was happy with their victory, she felt a sadness fill her heart as she felt Yoda's presence join the Force. On Obadiah, Pike by Steeler contacted his master. Yes. To inform of, of the great Imperial defeat and destruction of the Death Star. Yes, that's so. This boy emperor is on bit, the mantle dark lord of the Sith. Soon he will learn the true power of the dark side.
Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this video. And I just wanna say a thank you to all the support we had on the first part, and it really inspired me to make this second part and I wanted to do a better job. It took a long time to make this video, so if you haven't dropped a like, please drop a like. And if for some other reason you haven't seen part one, it's right here. And let me know if you guys wanna see part three in the comments. I could probably do it, it just takes a long time to do these, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it, even if it does take a long time. I really appreciate you guys, and yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.